What up, YouTube? You might have seen the news this week that TikTok CEO Sho Chu testified before Congress, and he made our congressional representatives look a little bit stupid. It's our understanding that they're looking at the eyes. How do you determine what age they are then? <laughs> you think you're using the... <laughs> but there was something going on here. Oh. Oh! There were a lot of weasel words used, and I want to take you through exactly what was said. Hey, good answer. Actually, great answer, Mr. TikTok. This is a juicy episode. I hope you like it, and if you do, make sure you subscribe. Let's get right to it. Does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, I may not understand the... So if I have a TikTok... <laughs> I do think when they ask dumb questions, your response should always be, I'm not sure I understand the question. Because that is a polite way. In the same way that Southerners will say, bless your heart, I may not understand the question means that's fucking dumb. Especially from like a tech CEO, right? Hey, I may not understand the question means like you really, you really don't. TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network. Does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to get access to the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Okay. Co Congressman, uh, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Oh. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Okay, I'd appreciate it if you could answer yeah. that. Hey, good answer. Actually, great answer, Mr. TikTok. I wonder, could you imagine, I think my nightmare scenario is it turns out that all these like boomer senators are right and TikTok has been accessing my network and sending AI texts on my behalf and all of a sudden they're going to rise up. <laughs> well, supports freedom Thank of speech. Thank you. Um, does TikTok support genocide? <laughs> Again, Congressman, I'm here to talk about TikTok. Does TikTok support... <laughs> Wait, just say no! <laughs> That's even better. Does TikTok support genocide? I'm just here to talk about the technical aspect. Now, deep down, we do. We love it. It's the thing that we enjoy most in this world. Maybe you don't want to be caught on camera saying, no, we don't support genocide because it'll get cut up or something. Again, Congressman, I'm here to talk about TikTok. Does TikTok support genocide? Does TikTok? No. But, okay, thank okay, you. But, but, so, <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck? What is that? What? Where was he going with that, right? I guess there's the whole like, hey, genocide is happening in China. And it's trying to get like a gotcha there. But I feel like you have to have a little more tact. You tell me right now, can you say with 100% certainty that TikTok does not use the phone's camera to determine whether the content that elicits a pupil dilation should be amplified by the algorithm? Can you tell me that? We do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. You might think that this one is... I'm, I know I'm stopping at 22 seconds in a minute in, but what a very sly way to say. The most important thing when you're a social media network gathering information about your user base, let's learn a little something today, chat, is that you can't have PII. PII is personally identifying information. If you collect that, what you are doing is illegal. But what you can do is aggregate it. You can say that like, hey, user 747, and we don't know their name, and we don't know these things about them, fucking loves Valorant. And he loves watching Ludwig. And last week, for some reason, he bought 17 packages of Hot Pockets right and they can use that to sell to advertisers but if they say that that person is nathan stands i'm not saying the story is true all of a sudden what they're doing is illegal so by saying that we don't collect body face or voice data to identify body our face or voice data to identify our users he is not saying they don't collect body face or voice data he could be collecting all of your body face or voice data as long as he is not attributing it to you Nathan Stans, you X, Y, and Z. The only face data that you'll get that we collect is when you use the filters to have, say, sunglasses on your face, we need to know where your eyes are. And Why do you need to know what the eyes are and, if you're not seeing if they're dilated? And, and that data is stored. They need to know where the eyes are to put the sunglasses on, brother. He just told you. Cool device and delete it after use if you use it for facial. Again, we do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. I find that hard to believe. It's our understanding that they're looking at the eyes. How do you determine what age they are then? <laughs> you think you're using the... 
Oh, that's what's so frustrating. I, that's what's so frustrating because I'm saying get me up there. I am understanding as a 30-year-old fucking idiot that this is how they do it, right? They collect that data and they sell it to advertisers. And maybe I spend a little time in like the advertising industry, so I get it. But I could look at him and be like, okay, to identify the users, but do you collect that data at all? And then he would say the sunglasses thing. And then you would say, do you use it in any way outside of the filters? And you try and go down a line of questioning that reveals the way that they are collecting data so that you have all the appropriate information. But then this guy goes, how are you identifying how old the kids are? with a fucking questionnaire the same way every other website does. You put your birthday in the goddamn app. It's just so dumb. It's so, so, so dumb. We rely on age gating as our key age assurance. Age gating, which is when you ask the user what age they are. <laughs> we have also developed some tools where we look at their public profile um, to go through the videos that they post to see whether- Boy, That's creepy. Tell me more about that. It's public. <laughs> so if you post a video that's, you choose that video to go public, that's how you get people to see your video. We look at those to see if you, it matches up the age that you talked about. Right, 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 right. Interesting. The TikTok guy is incredibly patient. Yeah, I also think he's incredibly savvy. Has TikTok at any time fed precise GPS information collected from US users into algorithms to serve user ads? Yes or no? Buzzy, yes. So uh, I, I need to check on the details. Yeah, no, I'm that's sure. a yes. Dude, brother, did he say yes? What did he say? Yes or no. So uh, I, I need to check on the he's details. He's nodding, so yeah, I think I'm yes. I'm sure there's a yes there. But has TikTok at any time fed precise GPS information collected from U.S. users into algorithms? No, I'm happy. Damn, this lady. She's, she asked a good question, and everyone's thinking she's an idiot because she can't say algorithm. <laughs> has TikTok at any time sold precise GPS information collected from US users, yes or no? That's a yes. We do not sell data to data brokers, if that's the question. That, and you've never oh. done that? I do not believe so. Yeah, so he added data brokers. We don't sell that data to data brokers versus like we don't sell that to advertisers. There's like a middleman there that allows you to do it. it, it or a lot of inferences that were made <laughs> lady lady i i need you to get this right our fucking safety as a nation is at stake come on lady a congressman i need to check on these specifics what i can tell you is right now we do not collect uh, precise gps location data in the united states all right oh does tiktok still use in really is that true get a staffer on that one stat I guess it depends on what precise means, huh? The lawyers are the worst. Has TikTok at any time provided the Chinese government with either precise GSP information collected from George St. Pierre? Get the George St. Pierre fan cam in here. I wonder if TikTok would be against paying a senator to just not say the word algorithm correctly, right? I feel like it's a possibility of like, hey, you can ask whatever questions you want. You can be hard on us, but you cannot say algorithm correctly. You have to stutter, you have to slur, you have to mispronounce. And then you can get it your way, ask hard questions. We'll get it our way. People will think you're an idiot and then we'll go on. Will you commit not to sell any of TikTok's data to data, data brokers? <sighs> Miss Dingle. Mrs. Dingle, I'm gonna need you to prepare better for the next one. We do not do that. We do not sell data to data brokers now. Uh, Will you commit to not do it in the future? This is a, there are certain mem members of our industry who do this. You know, I think this has to be broad legislation to help us, the whole industry, address this problem. Okay, interesting. It's funny that I'm watching this TikTok thing on TikTok. And there's the kind of, it's kind of bizarre. Million Americans who love our platform and we know we have a responsibility to protect them, which is why I'm, I'm making the following commitments to you and to all our users. Number one, we will keep safety, particularly for teenagers, as a top priority for us. Okay. Number two, we will firewall protected US data oh. from unwanted foreign access. Number three, TikTok will remain a place for free expression and will not be manipulated by any government. And fourth, this really highlights, uh, okay, so we've watched a lot of TikToks about this in the last 10 minutes. The difference between a multi-million, hundred million, whatever company, a massive company like TikTok and the fleet of lawyers they can use to draft and prepare 
conversational points for this man and senators who have like a college kid on an internship, right? We're, we're not fighting the same level of firepower. And that's the problem with being rich. This was Remain written by 40 lawyers that all charge $1,000 an hour. Seemed good. I, I mean, saying that you're going to keep something a priority doesn't really mean anything, right? How do you convince uh, the Congress of the United States that there can be a clean break? Uh, why would the Chinese government sidestep uh, their uh, national law, including Article 7, Article 10, Pseudo, um, think of the sub. Uh, in terms of user data? Congressman, th thank you for the question. I'm glad you asked this. As I said in the opening statement, our plan is to move American data to be stored on American soil I by understand the American that. company. I understand that, but, uh, uh, but you're sidestepping, or I haven't read anything uh, in terms of uh, TikTok, how you can actually say, and you spoke in your opening statement about a firewall relative to the data, but the Chinese government has that data. Well, how, how can you promise that uh, that that will move into uh, into the United States of America and be protected here? Uh, Congressman, I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. They have never asked us. We have not provided. Well, you know what? I've I asked that, that. I find that actually preposterous. I, I have uh, looked I've, in. I have really seen no evidence of this happening. Mm. And in order to assure everybody here and all our users, our commitment is to move the data in into the United States to be stored on American soil by an American company overseen by American personnel. So the risk will be similar to any government going to an American company asking for data. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what data would be on <laughs> it would be on TikTok that like what are we talking about? This isn't a fucking bank. I wait, China has the data on how many fucking fan cams I watch. I I don't get it. I I understand that there's some thoughts about it but tiktok is not the platform i feel uh, yeah blackmail on public videos what are you doing wait, wait, <laughs> you're the one watching the videos your technology is literally leading to death where do we uh, does tiktok have I'll credit card like details to, respectfully who the fuck's putting their credit card in tiktok am i missing the side of it it's devastating to hear about the news of yes as a yes. father myself this is sir tragic. yes or no i'll repeat the question for live stream bits you I'll never have use full it. responsibility over the algorithms you, you didn't spend ten thousand dollars on TikTok live streams last week you're memeing you're memeing right uh, congressman we we do take these issues very yeah, seriously yeah, yes or no and we do provide resources for anyone who types in anything that sir is yes or related. no i see you're not willing to answer the question TikTok streams get insane amounts of donations do they I, I guess, yeah, I'm just, it's not a world that I am familiar with. Or remove content at the request of the, the Chinese question, government. The question, is, we will replace... the question is, are you 100% certain that they cannot use your company to promote such messages? It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free from any manipulation by any okay. government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. As I previously referenced, TikTok spied on American journalists. Can you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteDance nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with similar surveillance techniques. Chair Rogers, I first of all disagree with the characterization that is spying. Um, it was an internal investigation. Yes on, or no? Can you do surveillance of other Americans? We, we will protect the U.S. user data and fire <laughs> what is surveillance it off from is all unwanted foreign access. It's a commitment that we've given to the committee. So, so I guess my question is, are, can, I, want you to, I wanted to hear you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteNance nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with sim similar surveillance techniques as you did with the journalists. Again, I, I don't What surveillance techniques the did they use on the journalists? That's actually very interesting. I don't, I don't know anything about this story. Again, I, I don't disagree with the characterization. Characterization is surveillance, and we have given our commitments, Chair Rogers. The four commitments, I think it's our commitment that we will not be influenced by any government on these issues. To the American people watching today, Hear this, TikTok is a weapon by the Chinese Communist Party to spy on you, manipulate what you see in it. Whoa! A ban is only a- They were recording their locations to reveal their relations with whistleblowers? Short, and a data privacy bill is the only way to stop TikTok from ever happening again in the United States.
<laughs> Try and stop TikTok from ever happening again. The people familiar with the matter confirmed to ABC that the investigation began late last year after the company acknowledged some of its employees had wrongfully accessed the data of several journalists who cover the tech industry in order to try and track down their sources. Interesting. I mean, that sounds like surveillance is a weird word because it harkens to like Cold War spying, but that does seem a, a bit brazen. I guess all tech companies have to deal with like rogue employees, but kind of scary. Is this a government W? No, I think it's a... No, I don't think it's a government W. But I don't think it's a TikTok W either. I feel like it's an L for everyone involved. 